hi um this is karthik here and uh, i'm going to show you some basic stuff about um, having an rc setup basically an electrical setup and uh, just showing some of the basic electrical items that you'll need to start uh, having to start rc so first of all i'll show you uh, this is a very basic not kind of basic but it's an entry level um, programmable radio um, as you can see this this is what you call an rc radio um in india it is available in quite some good shops you also have some websites that sell this stuff this is a turnage 9x um it is uh, available in the leading websites for uh, around 4 to 5000 and uh, that's probably cheap comparatively to other radios and uh, this is where you handle your plane once you have plane in your hands this is how you'll handle um some basic stuff i'll uh, carry i'll show you later but uh, this is the main component that you will need and uh, probably one of the major uh, you know one of the costly things that you have to buy if you are going for rc second comes is the receiver which comes with this um you have some slots here this is the thing that that will be on board what i mean by on board is that it will be on your plane okay next is a lipo battery this is also one of the most important things that will determine your uh, plane if you are going for your build or going for an uh, ready made one build it yourself stuff this is your battery um uh it's a t-rex pro 2200 mah and uh, uh more uh, details i'll show you afterwards and this is the speed controller uh brushless esc um uh, electronic speed controller um this is like the cpu of your computer it handles everything of from your motor to the load current to the processor you have uh this is a esc 40 amp esc just showing, showing you some basic stuff that you'll need for start rcing yes and there comes this servo motors these are quite common you'll see you can see these around uh, toy cars not the china made ones but you might find these in toys so what this does is it has a limited moment these motor are specially designed and they have a limited amount of uh, turns it won't rotate fully 360 degree it just rotates around of 180 degrees and 90 degrees that's it and these slots that you see these are to be put in the receiver and this will go on board okay so i am quite clear with it okay wait um uh, one thing uh, the brushless motor i must show you just a second yes here comes the brushless motor um this is the one that determines how well your plane would fly or whether it fly or not okay and this goes into the these three pins 
goes into the they go into the speed controller this speed controller actually controls takes in command from the uh, your uh, transmitter the receiver receives it and this receiver is connected to your esc this esc takes in the command and the motor obeys your command that's it see this is the radio your ES is connected to this throttle and the other way around it's connected to the ESC servos are connected to the ESC and the battery is also connected to your ESC so it's quite like your CPU must say so I think I'm quite clear with the algorithm of that Yes, is it this way? Thank you for watching guys.